Hey, this is Margaret Lynch from MargaretMLynch.com, author of Tapping Into Wealth and creator of the Tapping Into Wealth Coach Training Program. Okay, in this video, I want to talk to you about money in the Mind Body Money Connection, and I have a quiz for you. I want you to answer this question. How much, when we make decisions around money, would you say they are logical versus emotional? So if you could add up on 100%, what percentage of our decision making is emotional versus logical? Now, if you said 20% logical and 80% emotional, you would be wrong. If you said 10% logical and 90% emotional, you would also be wrong. It is 100% emotional, 100% emotional. Now I know some of the, you engineer types, cause I'm an engineer, are thinking, no, 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 no. I look at all and compare and the statistics and I look at the specs and I make a decision. Okay, and so how does that work? What happens is emotionally we've made the decision <laughs> and then we use our logical thinking brain to narrow in the choice or to justify the decision that we've already emotionally made. So here's how I want you to apply this for yourself today. I want you to look back on all the mistakes that you've ever made in money in your life that you probably really give yourself a hard time for, that when you look back and you think of those mistakes, you say, God, I was so stupid, or how could I be such an idiot, or I should have known better, if only I hadn't made that dumb mistake. And I want you to remember that the 100% decision making that you made in the past was emotional. Your brains did not really come into it. So beating yourself up for being a dummy or being an idiot or not knowing better really doesn't make a difference because you weren't deciding with the smart part of you. Now, what does this allow you to do? Okay, this allows you to be aware that everything that you're doing with your money is going to first involve the mind-body-money connection, emotions that you would both feel naturally and the ones that you're programmed with since childhood. And being aware of that allows you to take a space and be a little bit more observing of your emotions because when we can just take a space instead of just feeling the emotion feel it and observe it and go hmm I'm feeling anxiety right now, or I'm feeling anxious right now, or I'm feeling need, 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 need right now, which we sometimes feel when we're overspending or over shopping, or I'm feeling panic, panic, panic right now, so I'm not gonna deal with my bills. We can also take a step back and observe that and say, this is a habitual way of operating around money for me, so I'm gonna put a little breath in here, I'm gonna go, Hmm, take a breath. I'm going to put a little observing in here and then I'm going to ask myself in this little space I've created, what do I really want? What have I decided I want before? What were the goals I set? What do I really want in this moment? And I'm telling you that tiny little space is life changing, earth shattering and will shift every way that you operate in your money. And you might decide to say purchase something in that energy, but my, here's my deal, at least you're doing it consciously. You might say, you know what, I am buying this from this deep need and I'm gonna justify it with my brain, but at least I know I'm doing it, I'm not under a delusion, and I can see that there's consequences to every decision I make. And so I am willing as an adult to make this decision now, even though it's emotionally based, and figure out how to pay for it later. I love when we do things consciously. It doesn't mean we fix everything, but at least we're on it and we're conscious. And that is light years, light years, light years from what we've been doing in the past, just running with our mind, body, money, connection, emotions. So this is Margaret Lynch and I will see you on the next video.